This is the Wormwood Modular Gaming Table. 2020 Kickstarter that is now in the top 10 of most funded Kickstarters of all time. This is the first built, and as far as I know, only delivered table as of today. This is a small size table with the coffee table height legs and in maple. I only own one big box style game, and that's Mansions of Madness, which we've set up here. I've never played it with five players, but it does support up to five. And so I've set that up so you can see. Everything fits in the table, and you can close the table up with everything out, including the, even the biggest figures. It's a little bit tight with five players. Probably wouldn't want to play with five. There's probably a lot of games that don't work for five players at this size. Um, but it could definitely work, and it works just fine for my needs. I also have some of these other Wormwood tiles. These are just the tabletop tiles that they came out with before the modular gaming table. They do fit in the rail. So if you wanted to, you really could use them to hold cards, but it's not going to magnetically connect, and the reason being is the rubber pads on the bottom, which will hit. You could file them down and make it work, but then the magnet would force you to have it at the side. So you're probably better off getting the ones that are designed for the table, but if you really wanted to, you could use these that way as well. I think it's actually kind of interesting that you can kind of put it in the corner like that too. The toppers do have rubber feet on them. I initially thought that the rubber feet might sit on, rest on the ends here, but they don't. They actually register into these corners, which keeps the table from sliding around. Build-wise, it feels really solid. Uh, feels like putting it together is almost like putting together, I'd say, high-end IKEA. Everything seems very purposeful and intentional and well-designed. Uh, even the plywood underneath is a high quality plywood with all the screw holes pre-drilled and I, I really felt like I'd have to intentionally over torque those screws in order to strip them. So I, I don't think it's the kind of thing that anybody would easily break if you had to do it a couple of times, which is what the table is designed for. And there we have the table one signature from the worm life episode. There we are.